始めー Alright, we're back doing more. You gonna vlog today, dude? You gotta gotta not be distracting for the people watching. So last week, um, I got a suggestion on my Instagram to talk about some depression tools that I've learned that have helped me with the pole vault, or sports in general. Um, I'm gonna do my top five, but first, since it's a pole vault vlog, I'll talk about my two days of pole vault this week. So don't worry, if you hate the other stuff I talk about, Pull vaults first. All right, here we go. Since my knee was hurting kind of last week, I decided to not do a sprint workout on Monday because I vaulted on Tuesday. So I did a treadmill workout and weights and I was actually feeling pretty good on Tuesday. Ever since last year, I decided that I didn't like my shoulders hurting, I didn't like my back hurting, and I didn't like how my posture was because that's what was causing all the pain. So I decided to change some postural things. And since I've done that, everything feels brand spanking new. So like, Here's an example. If this is me... I'm a big blue pen. If I'm standing straight up and down, it actually feels like I'm leaning forward a little bit. So that's really messing with me a whole bunch because the, the cues that worked for the last 10 years are now not working at all because everything feels funky. So keep that in mind while I explain these vaults. The whole idea is just to get my plant early at 1 o'clock and obviously it hasn't been. It's been right at noon after watching these videos. But like I said earlier, feels like it's in front and it feels like I'm leaning but it's not <laughs> so that's weird I decided just to lean forward like I was gonna fall on my face and I seriously felt that way no, that really good. You weren't even leaning at all. and then I watched the videos and it doesn't look like I'm leaning at all but it sure feels like I do <laughs> so that's been kind of the idea is to get my arms up at one try and lean and then squeeze the pole as hard as I can and be as solid as I can at takeoff it wasn't good or bad it was just another learning experience it's hard not to judge where I have been in the past, so I'm working on that. So actually on Friday I was feeling even better! And then uh, the sinky feeling was still there, unfortunately. But I was trying to lean like a son of a bitch, because <laughs> that was my big cue. Now I was to lean, plant at 1 o'clock, and squeeze my hands and don't let them move. And it just didn't work. Poles weren't moving forward, I felt like my legs were getting whipped off the ground instead of my arms moving, just everything felt really funky and odd. And I was like, I can't figure it out because everything doesn't feel like it used to feel. So what I used to tell myself just doesn't work anymore. It's like I started all over and I'm relearning how to do stuff. So I'm kind of like working with myself like I would work with a new kid I'm working with coaching. That's what it feels like. And then things just didn't work. I wasn't jumping well at all. <laughs> Couldn't even swing them up and I was like, why can't I do it? Then on the second to last jump I was like, pole's not rolling over. I'm sinking. I'm just gonna try some old stuff that I used to do. So I have this cue I tell a lot of high school kids to plant with my left arm. Think about planting with my left arm and getting as tall as I can. And as soon as I did that, the pole started feeling like the pole vault used to feel. It was the only time I only did it for one jump. But um, hey, it was the second better? last jump. So that's what I wrote in my journal, which is like, keep doing what you're doing. Maybe narrow your grip a little bit so that arm gets up and out. And as soon as I did that, the pole actually rolled out of its way. Uh, like it used to. So I'm gonna try that next week if my knee doesn't hurt. And it was the first day I got frustrated. So uh, I actually fell one time and yelled, Son of a bitch, really loud. And Caroline was like, That's not very zen of you. <laughs> and then I immediately kind of want to be like, Well, kind of, because I'm living in the moment. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about those five things. Before I go, a week from today, on this Monday, uh, is the last day to order the official Team Hoot competition jerseys. Um, I decided if you guys don't want to spend 50 bucks on a jersey because they're 50 bucks. <laughs> but they're really nice jerseys and that's why they're that much and I think I make only like $5 off of every jersey. Um, I put some cheaper jerseys on there and I'm calling them training jerseys. They're not the official Team Hoot 
competition jerseys, but they're still pretty sweet jerseys, just not the, as high of a quality, but they're way cheaper. So I also put those up if you guys want to get those instead. Also, I'm Black Friday. Black Friday-ing all this week. So everything on my website is dirt cheap. If you guys want training, there's a bunch of new training up there. Um, everything's cheap. It's going to be great. I also put one month, two month, and three month training programs up there instead of just three month training programs. So you guys can get those as well. They will also be cheap this week. I will start Black Friday um, today. Black, Black Monday. <laughs> oh, P.S. Thanks for everyone liking all Leslie's stuff. She uh, now officially has more followers than me. <laughs> So it worked! You guys are awesome. Okay, bye. On Tuesday, I went and pole vaulted, and it was awesome. Widened my grip a little bit, and I figured out what was causing me to turn. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison of what two weeks ago looked like versus Tuesday. It's a big change. Now I just need to be able to do that and then go on to the next step which I believe is kicking my right foot over my left once I'm in that position instead of just shooting straight out of it because obviously that's not working. Just got done. Tuesday last week I went from four lefts. Um, I wasn't feeling super great yet and I didn't know if I would. So it was kind of a confidence day just to feel good and get back on the horse after a couple rough vault practices and surprisingly I got on the biggest pole I've ever been on from four, uh, 15 foot, so a 460 pacer carbon. And on the last vault of the day, um, instead of blowing through that 15.5 like I was all day, um, my speed slowed down a little bit so the pole finally worked. My confidence is back up. So let's go back to the story. Narrowed my grip, huge, terrible shoulder pain. Here's why we changed the wide grip. Ready? Wide grip, good. I could control the pole really easily, and I had no pain. But the bad part of the wide grip was it was hard to swing. It's hard to swing with the wide grip. I had a poor pull carry, and I had poor plant posture because of that. So we narrowed my grip. And my posture was awesome. And my plant position was awesome. And it created a good swing. Yeah! But I had pain. And I was on smaller poles, a lot smaller poles. And I lost all control on the top end of the vault. <laughs> So now we're back and we're like, shoot, 